As mentioned in a previous video, I'm going to make a flip through of my new journal. This is my fall journal or autumn journal. I am going to make journals that follow the seasons to embrace the energy of the seasons. So that's something new I've started. Up until now, I've been keeping really chunky uh, junk journals or creative journals. I have one here. This one I just completed, and I will do a flip through in another video soon of this beast of a book. But when you, I love, I love me a good chunky junk journal, but they're not easy to work in. So I thought it would be nice to change things up and have some seasonal junk journals that are completed faster. So this one is probably gonna, hopefully, gonna last me from September till somewhere in November. Um, I don't know when I'll be posting this video. It might take me some weeks to get it up, but here is the before video, before I start working in it. Um, and I'm also going to tell you about my journaling system. I have this, uh, my box of goodies with me that I uh, keep, store, keep my junk journal in when I don't work in it and some other stuff. But I'm going to start with this one. It's a TN uh, size. I... What is that in inches? Because I normally work in centimeters. Can you see? Four and a half by uh, mm, yeah, an eight and a quarter of an inch, something like that. Um, so that's the size, and I've used uh, the cover is made out of a. Uh, brown paper bag from the supermarket, like Trader Joe's in the States, and I've just used one from the, one of the local stores, because uh, it's really sturdy, uh, and I've covered it with upholstery fabric, uh, and this is a cutout from a book, and I covered it with uh, decoupage varnish to make it more sturdy uh, and durable, um, and just layered some fabric. This is some also for furn furniture, but it's satin. Uh, and this one is just some lace I had. Yeah. Uh, and on the inside, I kept the inside pretty pretty simple. Just covered it with some fabric. I have this, this uh, uh, some old uh, bed sheets that I had that had a hole in it. So I just re reusing that for something else. I love Van Gogh. Uh, I love his paintings. And some of them are quite autumnal. And so I've used some printables with and in some book uh, and um, book pages with Van Gogh in the in this one. So it's kind of like an awesome slash Van Gogh journal. So this one is the first page. And I kept the pages pretty simple because I like to decorate them as I go. So it fits the theme of the story I want to tell. And so I kept it pretty simple. This is a coin envelope that I can tuck something in and just a journaling card. This is from a uh, children's book. Library pockets. I've had this for years. This is from scrapbooking. And notebook pages. This is a vintage focus card. It doesn't say the year, but it's really, really old. I can tell because as you can see, uh, it's not a car, it's like with horses. It's really, really old. And I think that's, I love vintage postcards. So instead of storing them in book, in a box somewhere, I like to tuck them in my journal so I can take them out and look at them. Um, and this is a big pocket. This is also a printable I bought on Etsy. I will see if I can remember to link them. This is the page I found in a book uh, with a photo um, that looks like the sky would do in the uh, in the afternoon in the autumn. It looks like the autumn sky. Um, probably gonna c cover this when I work in it. An envelope with mushrooms. There are also quite a lot of mushrooms in this one. And I'm just going to do it fairly quickly. This is just, someone gifted this to me. Um, and this one is just the tag I made. This 
This is also Van Gogh. And this is a drawing from a book by Van Gogh. Um, and a journaling card with a moth. I like moths. And this is also a gift from a pen pal. My journals tend to end up being pretty nature heavy, but that's just because I enjoy nature so much. Uh, this is from Liana Scraps, I think, one of her printables. And this is actually packaging that I turned into a journaling card. And this is one of those, I don't uh, shop at AliExpress anymore, uh, but this was one of those uh, stickers that I, vinyls or like see-through vinyl stickers that I had lying around. And I might as well use them up. Another one of those Van Gogh printables. And here in the middle, still have to f decide what to put on these. I don't know if I'll just put some uh, gold hearts or charms or whatever. I have to find out. Um, uh, so a couple of journaling cards. This is a book page with some pretty awesome looking ducks and another journaling card. Big pocket. This is a tight squeeze with a huge journaling card with owls. It, so as you can see, there's a lot of nature in this one. Um, another one. And just made some fabric ruffles here and there. This one, this is actually uh, from, this is a book page and that I, I cut these out because I like these uh, ceramic kind of ghosties. They look like something out of the moment. Um, but I used that to make a pocket and a journaling card and this have this old serial card. And this one falls out. Another journaling card with Van Gogh. And this one falls out. Here's the other side of that um, autumn photo. And this one is this one is on the back side of one of the um, Van Gogh book pages. And I just I don't know if you can tell, but there's this acetate pocket with a witch. Maybe I can Turn this around so you can see it better. See. There she is. Because I thought this would might be around Halloween. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this one flips out. And this is a book page from uh, an old children's book. And I turned it into a pocket. And with more mushrooms. Because mushrooms are cool. And this is a page from a German grammar book. Um, yeah, I had this old school book, a Danish German school book. This is coffee dyed with splatters on it. And the final page is a pocket with another Van Gogh. This just screams uh, early autumn to me, like around the beginning of September or something. This one. This is the journal, and I can't wait to play in it. And, as I said, I will show you. When I work in a journal, I keep this... It's difficult to show because I'm showing you from the top, but I'll do it, try to do it in a way. I keep this wicker basket with all sorts of stuff that I think fits the theme of my journal. It can be... There's a lot of paper scraps. I found this. I made these painted these in um, uh, acrylic ink uh, some time ago. So there's painted papers, there's images I think might use to decorate the pages with. Um, I have these, I found these, or tags. These, these are very, very uh, thin wooden leaves that I could glue in. So I keep this because it makes it easier if I just want to 
grab my journal and quickly work in it for 20 minutes. I don't have to rummage around my craft room to find stuff that fits. I already have a selection of papers and I, as I go, uh, the, as the days pass, I will chuck ephemera in it uh, from my everyday life. This is from a tea packaging, uh, from a tea box I just finished. Um, trash me, that's just an envelope from something. Just all sorts of stuff, painted papers. This is handmade paper from India. I have an assortment of stuff. Oops, sorry, I bashed the tripod. To make it easier, and this selection of, I have this selection of stamps with birds on it. To make it easier to uh, journal. And I've also picked out, because I have a huge collection of uh, washi tape that I don't use that often. And so I've also selected some washi tapes that I think f fits the theme. And I keep them out instead of the uh, drawer where I uh, store my um, washi tape. I just have them to the, next to me um, as I craft in here. And it, I can chuck them in here if I want to take this into the main house. My studio is, is uh, in the stables. So if I want to go into the main house, I can just grab this basket and go create. So this is my junk journaling or creative journaling system. And I will show you in another video this beast of a book as a sneak peek. So this is how it ends up looking when I've finished, when I finish a creative journal. And I will show you this beast in another video. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed and please give it a like and a Thumbs up if you uh, if you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.